I'm an only child. My mom passed at birth. I heard she was amazing. Different family members stepped in to raise me, but I was often alone with my dad. And while he was present physically, he wasn't present emotionally. It wasn't that I was daddy's little girl, but somewhere inside of me, I guess I always wanted to be. He didn't even attend my college graduation. And he said that he was feeling tired the day he had to walk me down the aisle for my wedding. We stopped communicating for a few years, but I continued to write him cards. My grandpa always told me that people will remember the words. I learned that if you plant a seed of love, well, it has to grow. I was elated the first day we went out for lunch in the park. He laughed harder than I did. He said he had a good time and he promised we would do it every Friday. Same time, same place. This Friday, I packed his favorite. I mastered a recipe from my grandma. I was sure he was gonna make it this time. It's his birthday. I know he isn't coming, but I'll wait. I went to the doctor a few months ago and was told that I couldn't have kids. So I thought a child is a gift and me being here is a gift of time for him. forgive him, but how do I forget my hurt, my disappointments? My expectations of him have changed. I won't hold him to the dad that I needed or wanted. Maybe he has childhood disappointments that he hasn't healed from. Maybe he's broken and therefore he can't be whole for me. His best is now. This is who he knows how to be. Perhaps I have to be more understanding and create a new life for myself. Hey, mister. How often are you here? I've just switched parts. So, I mean, at the same time, same place. And maybe I could love you Quite as often as I could And maybe I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine All these things I should have said and I just never took the time You were always on my mind You were always on my mind You were always on my mind